everyone, this is Mei Yu. I'm glad to see you here on another fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. So it has been a while since I drew any characters in the Tim Burton style. This time I'm going to reimagine Woody and Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story as if Tim Burton was the creator and director of those movies. I think this is going to be really cool and interesting to see how they're going to look like. If you've been following me for a while, you'll remember how I drew different like characters and other like famous pieces of art in the style of Tim Burton. Those were really fun. And now let's see how innocent, cute looking toys is going to look like if they were in the spooky, eerie world of Tim Burton. I'm really excited about this art challenge today because it's going to be a really great opportunity for me to expand my like creativity and kind of reimagine really nice looking, you know, sweet looking characters, very friendly looking characters. And how are they going to look like in this world, in this universe? It's kind of like, I like to think it's almost like the opposite, but not quite in a way. And I'm such a big fan of Tim Burton and his aesthetic and just, you know, his character designs, the stories, everything. So I really am glad I'm doing this. For this to work out, I really need a plan and see how I'm going to reimagine and redesign different elements of Woody and Buzz Lightyear and turn them into more stylized, um, like, design elements that could fit into the world of Tim Burton, especially with round things or realistic looking things or fleshed out things. I have to, like, you know, completely go the opposite direction. Like, for example, the arms and legs. OMG, I love how, you know, sometimes or usually Tim, uh, Tim Burton characters, they tend to have really, really long, skinny, very, very stylized limbs. Like from a design point of view, I really love how those characters are is, it's just so well designed. I'm sorry, I'm fangirly, but anyways. So basically I wanted to, you know, really stretch out, especially for um, Woody's arms and legs, really stretch them out, really have the tiny, tiny, tiny like wrists and ankles. I wanted to stylize other things too, like his boots and like even little things like his uh, sheriff star badge on his vest. Honestly, Buzz Lightyear gave me a little bit of a hard time just because of his like overall shape. In the original design, he has this really, you know, like big um, bulky upper body and these, you know, funny little small legs underneath. It's a very iconic silhouette. And I was thinking, how am I going to summarize these shapes and put them into, you know, the Tim Burton world as close as possible. Uh, originally, I was thinking just making him like a giant ball and then sticking like these two little skinny legs on him. I thought that was interesting because sometimes Tim Burton characters, like I was looking at some of the wider or heavier characters and they tend to just have really simplistic like body types or body shapes. Uh, but I felt it was still a little bit not there yet. Uh, so I was thinking, how am I going to handle the waist area and the, like the hip area of Buzz Lightyear? And then I came up with this design where it's like um, a general really big round shape. And then it kind of tapers in just slightly. And then it fans out into these wide like um, hip areas. So, and then the skinny legs. So I was thinking it's a little bit more detailed, but I do think it captures the essence of Buzz Lightyear better. I also like how I made his front designs like, you know, more stylized, skinnier, or just a little bit different than the original. And I gave him a giant head with those giant eyes. Did you see my shorts videos this week? Especially this one? I think I was the first on the internet to turn a music note into a pretty girl. If you haven't yet, go watch it and I'd love to hear what you think. I always love doing new art challenges and sharing them with you. 
I'm also glad you enjoyed my last week's lawn video where I turned the rainbow Starbucks drink into a beautiful girl. Thanks for all your likes and comments. All right, Woody's giving me the creeps right now. I felt the edge of the black went a bit too far towards the face edge. So I'm going back and getting some little highlights in there just to carve out that eye socket area more. And similar to my other Tim Burton reimaginings, I'm going to go for a different color scheme than the original characters where I'm dulling down the colors. Everything that's bright will be more grayed out. In case you're into all things dark, spooky, gothic, and beautiful, I've created the perfect coloring books for you to express yourself. You can find all of these coloring books and more on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. I've made over 100 books and counting, including number one bestsellers for all types of interests, genres, and topics. Color and relax to my haunting, beautiful line art and create your own masterpieces in your own unique ways. There's no right or wrong to color when you're in control. Also, thank you all for getting my latest coloring books. 30 Days of Chibis was the number one new release in its category. Go on your own 30-day creative journey, coloring a page a day. Keep posting your creations in your Amazon reviews and on Instagram with the hashtag MayuArt. I'll be collecting them to show in a future video. Happy coloring! Okay, I think Woody's looking good so far, especially with his muted colors, but I wonder how I'm going to handle Buzz's bright green and uh, purple colors. So basically I chose my dullest, grayest greens. Uh, I'm going into those areas right now, and I think I don't want to have just the one layer because I feel sometimes that's a little too flat for this piece I want things to look a little bit more dimensional so not like a flat solid color layer so I'm gonna go back in and mix some other like dark like grays or you know other dull colors just to kind of get more of a texture in the color layers honestly I think Buzz looks like some kind of big light bulb with an attitude. So I remember I did this similar technique when I was coloring the skin of my Tim Burton Elsa from before where I would layer like a brighter, more realistic skin tone and then I would go over with like uh, a light gray of some kind and then I'd blend them together. Okay, if you're a Toy Story fan, which movie did you like the best? The first, second, third, or fourth? Let me know in the comments. I think these two are looking spooktastic. And which other characters do you want to see me reimagine and draw in the Tim Burton universe? Comment down below and I'll see if I can do some of your suggestions in the future. And if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the thumbs up button and comment down below. Your likes and comments really help this channel grow and reach other new people who might be interested in art as well. Thank you for all your support, everyone. Be sure to turn on the bell for notifications because I've got a bunch of new videos coming up next week so you won't miss out. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you in my next video really soon. I want to thank everyone who got my different coloring books and various how to draw books. I'm glad that my art can help inspire you to keep up your creativity, relax, create something you can call your own, and build your skills at the same time. No matter if you're a casual colorist or someone who's more serious in pursuing art in your life, my books can help you realize your full artistic potential. I've now made a hundred books and counting, from ebooks to coloring books, paperbacks, workbooks, and hard covers so there's something for everyone. I'm building a whole bookstore for you on many different interests and topics and I'll keep making titles that can help many of you in all kinds of creative ways. Once you build those skills and your artistic eye, it's yours forever and you can do whatever you want with your skills. It's a very proud feeling because you accomplished something truly special. 
I can't wait to see your future fan creations. Own or gift these books now. They make great additions to your book collection and get them for birthdays, road trips, relaxing weekends and holidays, back to school, or just for a nice creative break to de-stress. Experience the power of your inner creativity. The link to my Mayu bookstore on Amazon is in the video description. Happy drawing and coloring, everyone!